We introduce a multi-scale model to couple slender elastic strands with shear dependent fluid. Here we show some example footage, such as a brush dipped into a paint, a brush swirling in yogurt, mousse poured onto human hair, and sunscreen squeezed over a bunch of strands. Our model can predict the rich dynamic interactions between shear dependent fluid and strands. For example, here we simulate a rotating brush splashing through the oil paint, an elastoviscoplastic material. The oil paint forms thin sheets while the bristles of the brush stick and tangle. Our system is composed of three components, the hair strands, the reduced surface flow on the hairs, and the bulk liquid. For each component, we develop one or more new techniques, along with methods to treat their mutual interactions. Our first contribution is a surface flow model for elastoviscoplastic fluid on strands. Here we test our model with large droplets of four different kinds of materials flowing on a thin strand. The water immediately flows off, and the mud slowly expands, while the paint and cream flow very little in this scenario. When rapidly rotating strands with droplets on them, we observe that mud and paint are flung out soon after the simulation starts, while the milk cream only starts to move once the centrifugal force exceeds the fluid's yield stress. To stably handle collisions and friction with large cohesion between hairs, we develop a constraint-based method. When gradually separating two contacting strands covered with whipped cream, we observe tunneling and locking artifacts in a penalty-based method, while our method can smoothly handle the splitting. Beyond collision and cohesion, our method can also simulate the different frictional effects caused by different materials covering strands. For bulk shear-dependent liquids, our framework considers their compressibility during simulation, in contrast to prior work. Here we simulate three cows made of shaving cream with different bulk moduli. Correctly handling compressibility is crucial for achieving the correct visual appearance. To complete our system, we must couple the three components together. We developed a principled method to account for the additional strand inertia induced by the motion of the surface liquid. Here we simulate a heavy droplet flowing down a thin strand. Our method can simulate the scenario stably while prior work cannot. The strand is coupled with bulk liquid through the fluid volume fraction, pressure, and drag force. Here we compare the simulations with and without the volume fraction term considered when solving the pressure equation for liquid flowing through hair. With the volume fraction considered, the liquid region naturally expands as it passes through. With the pressure gradient computed using our method, we can correctly handle the buoyancy of hairs in water, where the lighter brown hairs float, the neutrally buoyant blue hairs drift, and the heavier green hairs sink. We adopt a material wear drag model to exchange momentum between strands and the bulk liquid. Our proposed drag coefficient yields a very different interaction behavior depending on the liquid type. If one were to use a constant drag coefficient, as is typical for Newtonian fluids, the cream would behave similar to mud since the yield stress and viscosity are not considered. Finally, we couple the bulk liquid with the surface flow through the application of appropriate boundary conditions. We now show a variety of additional examples to further illustrate the capabilities of our model.